Well, the yard is finally frozen again, which should be nice. This won't be rough to drive over at all. <laughs> Well, thank you to Factor for sponsoring today's video. It was just so warm the last couple of weeks, but not warm enough that anything dries. I mean warm like 35 degrees and gloomy and then probably close to an inch of rain maybe. Either way, things were sloppy, but now they're frozen. Which is much nicer for hauling corn because then you don't make such a mess out of everything. Come on in. I may not need this thing again this year. I should probably be careful what I say though because usually March is our snowiest month. Can't haul corn without sunglasses. At least not with my tender little millennial eyes. Now both of these trucks got the tires checked and they were loaded up last night so they're both ready to go. But I'm the only one here all week so it's gonna go slow. Toodles, Anna. Drop and load. Dumping, having, taking it, no, leaving it done. This corn will now be fermented down and used to blend in as ethanol with your automotive gasoline for clean burning fuel that's also renewable and homegrown right here in the United States. After it's used for that, roughly 40% of the corn remains and will be sold off as distiller grains as a high value, high protein feed source for livestock. The more you know. If anyone's interested, that dryer is still for sale. It's going to be a new one getting put up there this summer, so we need that gone. Email me if you're serious. This one is not just a prop. This is an actual working, functioning dryer. We use real props here on the Millennial Farmer movie set. Okay, truck's loaded. But I gotta wait a little bit before I haul this in because I gotta go check on some homeschool assignments right now. Do some, you know, some teaching tasks. Well, homework is done, thank goodness. But now it's past one o'clock in the afternoon and I'm starving. And since I'm trying really, really hard to eat less gas station food and fast food, I'm just gonna grab myself a factor meal before I take off. Red pepper queso chicken. 550 calories, 40 grams of protein. That'll work. If you've watched me for any amount of time, you know what my eating habits can be like. I'm really trying to eat a little bit healthier and eat something that doesn't cost so much. Something that isn't always gas station or fast food. But it's gotta be quick too. I don't have the patience to sit down and make a big fancy meal. Two to three minutes. That's it. I remember this one. This is good stuff. You can choose from over 34 different meals. They're all designed by chefs and dietitians, so they're not only delicious, they're also nutritious. That's a big word for me to say. So I know that I'm eating healthier. It's faster, it's quick, it's... I don't have a bad thing to say about it. I've never had one of these meals that isn't delicious. I can't stress enough how much I love shoveling good food down my gullet. That hit the spot. Head over to factor75.com or you can use the link right down below. Use the code FARMER50 to get 50% off your first factor box and free wellness shots for the rest of your life. You're going to get two free wellness shots from three different flavors with every order while you're an active subscriber. Delicious and quick. I love them. Check them out for yourself. Now let's get back to work. Hey Spiro, what's going on? That is one of the burliest, ugliest cats we have around here. But I like him because he hangs out down here and exterminates critters. Aside from one snow.
snowstorm, blizzard, I don't know if you could really even call it that. And two weeks in the middle of January where it was ridiculously cold. Aside from that, this is the easiest, most mellow winter so far that I've maybe ever experienced. Maybe I'm not supposed to talk about that. Is that bad luck? Terrible idea. this in the shed now and try to get a combine down to the dealership to go through for the service special. So the 780, which is the newer combine, has been at the dealer for a little while now since we cleaned it up after harvest. They go th through things really well, check all the bearings, all the tolerances, all the moving parts and pieces. Just go through it really well. The biggest thing, biggest reason we like to have them do that is because with the cost of machines these days, it's really worth it to have your dealer look at it because they really do a good thorough job of going through it. And then if there are any issues or things that might be questioned by warranty, you know you had the dealer look at it and you weren't just kind of guessing your, yourself in the shop. Sometimes there are very specific things that the dealer knows to look for because they get through so many combines. So they know the, the wear pieces and the issues and the things that can pop up that, you know, maybe just a normal farmer that owns a machine wouldn't even know. You ladies all sleeping well this winter? Been a pretty easy winter. Now this combine is not very old, but it's got one heck of a cold start. And since I know some of you like that kind of thing, I'll set the camera out here for you. And Anna's gonna yip at us when we fire it up. Aren't you, Anna? You're gonna yip. Who's a good girl? Okay, here we go. It's just cold enough that I'm guessing this will get extreme. Oh, there's a phone call. Cold battery mixed with a cold engine. So I plugged the block heater in. I'll leave that plugged in overnight. It's just cold enough to make it a little difficult for it to start. So I'll leave that plugged in overnight and then I'll turn the charger on about 20 minutes before I start it tomorrow and warm that up and I guess we'll swap it out tomorrow. I think I'm just gonna take the Ranger down and get the mail. It's almost five o'clock now anyway, so I'm just gonna work in the office and then do the family thing tonight. I'll be back at work tomorrow. I'm a little wore out anyway. My throat's going on me. I don't know, I feel like I'm starting to get a little bit sick. But I did drink a little bit too much Captain Morgan last night too, so I'm not sure which is which here. She knows exactly where I'm headed. And she would love a ride. But being this one is so nice and brand new and it's the 1500 XD model, I'm trying to keep all the German Shepherd fur out of it, for at least for a while. Didge wants a ride too. I'm just going to the end of the driveway, that's all. Hey, don't jump in here. Man, the steel belted transmission in this thing is smooth. Completely different than the old ones. It's pretty awesome. She insists on following everywhere if she can't be in here. It's a good way to walk the dog. See you tomorrow. Morning. I made it to the next day, but I'm actually headed to town to get tested for influenza because I feel like I wouldn't bother getting tested but I'm supposed to fly out this afternoon I'm not doing that if I feel like this hey dog where were you you are all wound up I don't know where the dogs were here comes the other one they had something fun going on I can tell because this one's all wound up on energy you gonna get her no you've been digging holes I can tell in the woods digging holes as kids should I wasn't thinking I should have recorded that Whew, that pipe cleaner to the brain really gets your eyes watering that is uncomfortable the results are in and supposedly I don't have would you can it yeah I got a new pickup yeah it's red yeah it dings when I don't wear my seatbelt Anyway, according to people that are a lot smarter than me and have expensive equipment, 
I don't have the flu or COVID, so I guess that's good. But to be honest with you, I was kind of hoping I did so they could just give me a prescription for something strong and hop me up on whatever it is I need. Guess I'll take a load of corn in, try to find some energy. Let's see, not flat, not flat, oil's good. Good enough for me today. This load here is actually not going to the ethanol plant. I'm gonna take this one up to a different elevator 10 miles north of here. It's gonna go for feed bank for uh, one of our landlords that we trade him some corn every year and he gets it ground for cattle feed. Snowmobiling conditions haven't really improved today at all from where they were last night. these old elevators. How you doing, dog? How you doing? The next couple of projects I have now are to finally get that combine down to the deer dealer. I also need to unload a double run that's coming from the grain bin dealer. So this summer we're going to be installing a double run from the leg over to the new bin. That way we can transfer grain directly from the leg into that bin. That didn't come last summer because I don't remember if we didn't order it in time or they didn't get it built in time. Either way, we didn't need it. So we got it in now. They're going to be delivering it. I'm going to put it over in that shed just so when it does start snowing it's not underneath the snow and I end up hitting it with the tractor or something when I'm moving snow. Two million subs, Anna. Gotta get to two million. This mostly frozen, rutted up ground is gonna be extra fun in the skid loader. Might need some surgery on my kidneys after I finish this. My plan is to pile that double run kind of in here where I temporarily placed all these pallets before all the snow came. You know, that snow. So it'd be nice to get this combine out of here before I have to also back around that stuff. We'll just put a little bit of heat into the battery. Engine should be warm. You may as well sit here and watch Kibble Man Sam while I wait for the combine battery to warm up. All right, let's try it. Give you guys the cold start view here. Hopefully she fires. got some starter heat. I'll give her a couple more minutes. I don't remember it being that cold blooded. What are you finding, Didge? It's not that cold. I would think this thing would fire up. I'm pretty surprised at that. Guess I'll leave the charger just going for a while here just to get some heat in that battery because it isn't, obviously it's not dead. I can see the orange light on the plug-in cord there so the block should be warm. Weird. Now that I'm looking at it, this might have to go out too. I wonder if this will fire. I should have plugged this in last night but this one's usually pretty good. Look at her. All the time. There we go. Got one going. Ew. I hate when the yard's all muddy. Well, I wait for Luke here. I also need to get the skid loader down to the deer dealer. They're gonna go through that as well. We've owned that for several years and we use the heck out of it and we've never really, like we've never really, really gone through everything on it. So. It was a good thing to put on the service special deal this year. Put it on the list. Throw the shocker hitch on. If you guys are pulling a lot of stuff and you don't have one of these, you're silly. They make several different models, but this one here is your basic 
trailer hauler deal. Once I get the trailer on, I'll pump this up just to where these bump stops are tight, and then that really cushions the ride. Takes all that shock out when you hit a pothole or like a bridge down the interstate and it jars real hard. That thing fixes that. I'll get to test the Duramax out now. My old truck was the gas engine just because I never really wanted to deal with diesel, but when this truck was sitting on the lot and I saw that bright shiny red with a color matched bumper, I needed it. This has got the new 10 speed transmission too, so I hear that that's really nice for pulling. No Luke yet, so I'm gonna try this combine one more time. He should be here in 10 minutes. Tremendously underwhelming cold start for this thing. Huh. Maybe you just barked it to life, huh? And just in time, there's my truck. I am starting to feel no good again. This sucks. I can't wait till it's summer again. I can cruise around in that thing. Piece number one. This one looks a lot heavier, like a lot. Well, that's all unloaded, and he took a bunch of our old chemical totes, so we won't have those laying around anymore. Those things, we only need so many. Once they're empty, we don't need them all. So I think he just cuts the tops off and uses the cage for, uh, for storing wood in that he burns to heat his house. Now we'll finally get that combine to town. And in a few weeks, they'll be out here to piece all of this together and it'll end up on top here crossing between the top of the grain leg and the top of the new bin I don't know it's like it's all good gravel we put a whole bunch of gravel down in this place last year it's just always been a slop fest whenever it gets warm in the spring don't bark at that tire Anna for any dogs watching this Barking at the tires and nipping at the tires on anything. It's just it's a bad idea. Don't do that. There's the muddy part of the yard, but here, this is the frozen part. So there's no mud over here because the, the new bin shades our entire half our yard out. It was like that before anyway with all the bins there. Wow. There is a pile of tractors here. That line is too deep. That's impressive. Hey baby, how you been? Pretty maids all in a row. Well now that one's home. I was able to get my flight for this afternoon switched to tomorrow, so I think I might go do nothing now. What's up, hound dog? Jeez, you are pumped. There's the other one. You girls want out now, now that I close the door? All right, enjoy. I think I'll bring that in in the morning when all this is frozen again. And I feel more like it, hopefully. Just not feeling 100%. Or hardly even 50. Okay, see ya later. One last thing, through the end of February, you guys can get 0% financing on inputs through FBN. And that's not just like for, you know, 30 days or whatever, that is through the entire season. So for those of you who are still looking for some inputs on your farms, head over to FBN.com. There's actually, there's a direct link down in the description. Head over there, 
shop around, look, see, maybe they have something you might need at a, at a good price. They have a lot of transparency over there. There's all kinds of stuff over there. It's well worth being a member and the membership is free. They have supported my channel for uh, like five years now. So check them out if they might be right for you. 0% financing, you can't go wrong.